Welcome collectors and model enthusiasts. We're going big today with another mining model review on Diecast Emporium. This is the WSI Models Volvo R100E Rigid Hull Truck or Mining Truck. And when I say big, I mean big. This is a 95 ton capacity mining truck. And depending on configuration, this truck has a Cummins engine capable of 987 horsepower, a very impressive machine indeed. As with all WSI models made for the Volvo Construction Equipment Group, I have very high expectations. Usually they are very well presented, they have a high level of detail, a high level of functionality, and overall they just present themselves very well. So let's begin with the packaging. You can see that it's got a very good picture of two R100Es on the side of the box, along with Volvo at the bottom right and WSI models at the top right. The mural continues with R100E, same thing, R100E. On the back, you have a line diagram drawing of the truck along with some more specifications. And underneath, you have all of your copyright information such as it's a WSI models, high quality die cast scale models, their contact information. The item number for this particular model is 61-2003. All right, let's not waste any more time. Let's begin the unboxing process. Now, this model is housed in two styrofoam formers, which are actually really, really tight. So it might be a little difficult getting this thing out of the package, but... That does mean that usually it arrives with no damage during shipping. Let's see if we can get this out. And actually, it's coming out with no fight today whatsoever. The styrofoams are helpfully marked top and bottom so you know which way your model is sitting. The first time that you get this out of the box, you will have to do some X-Acto knife work and cut along the line. Once you do that, take the top off. Remove a couple pieces of plastic, some more packaging material. Be very careful what you grab onto, as I like to say with most models, because even in a large piece of equipment like this, there are some very delicate pieces that could potentially break off. Grab it, take it straight out of the box. Now, there is another piece that is into the box, and that is a small bag with two steel pins. Now, these are not needed for the model really but what you use these for is right here if you wanted to pose the truck getting some service with the dump box up these are locking pins with go which go into two holes one on each side again it's not necessarily needed or required because the dump box stays in the upright position without needing to have locking pins but it's cool that WSI provides these for a more realistic pose so with that out of the way, the truck is free from the box. So when we come back, we will begin the model review. Welcome back, everyone. Thank you for staying with me. So we've got the truck out of the box. And as I said before, this is a very large model. It is roughly comparable in size to give you an idea uh, to a Norscott Cat 785. If you have one of those trucks in your collection, it's about the same size as that. It is larger, much larger than a 777. So let's go over some of the details first. You can see that WSI always does a great job with their pad printing decals. Volvo R100E, turning the truck around to the front. Again, you have some lights. Uh, there's It's hard to see, but these are orange or amber uh, working lights. Volvo right here on the very impressive grill. All of the newer Volvo construction equipment has this bright orange safety railing and grab stairs on their machines, which I think looks really good. It's a good contrast to break up usually the gray or black paint that goes with the Volvo yellow. This side, there are additional small warning decals and warning labels. Again, R100E and Volvo on this side as well. At the rear of the truck, you have Volvo, some more warning labels as well. And that brings us back to where we started. Another thing I want to point out right away because it's extremely impressive, the rear view mirrors actually have a silver reflective surface that work like rear real rear view mirrors do. It's a silver reflective surface. So that's really cool that this was be that that was able to be done uh, for this truck. 
Some other nice details include all of the casted details on the tires, which look exactly like the real truck. They did a really good job on these. The tires also are not too shiny, so they have that industrial or mining look, which I think looks good. Carefully flipping the truck over on its side, you can get a good look at the tread pattern, all of the chassis details as well, including your steering ram, steering rods, uh, and your underside detail, such as your large drive shaft, things of that nature. Okay, let's flip the truck back over. And we will begin with the functionality review. Now, the first part of any functionality that we want to see with any dump truck, particularly large mining trucks, is your dump height and dump angle. I'm glad to report and happy to report that this truck's dump angle is superb. So it doesn't matter what material you have in the back of this, it will slide out the back without an issue. And that's helped along by the multiple stage metal cylinders that you can see here. And as I said before, if you wanted to pose or put those safety pins in that are included, if you look right here, a little bit hard to get the pointer there. There we go. They go right there, one on each side. And that will effectively lock the dump box into the raised position so you can pose the truck getting some maintenance done underneath. Again, it's not necessary because as you can see here, the model is strong enough with the cylinders to hold the dump box up as is. That's not the only functionality that this truck has, far from it. It has a great range of steering on the front axle and the truck will hold that, as you can see here. Also, the truck will roll without an issue on these large rubber tires, which looks good. But here's my favorite part about this model. Check this out. This whole front section pops down so you can get a really good look at the large radiator right here. I absolutely love that WSI more often than not always includes some opening hatch detail whether it be doors or engine panels or the hood in this case. Another fine detail that you may not see right away is the perforated grill. This is all see-through. That's not done by a decal as you can see. It is actually part of the casting that is perforated and you can see straight through it. Last part of this video, let's pose this R100E rigid haul mining truck next to a suitably large mining excavator that you may see working alongside of it. Let's bring in the Diecast Masters Cat 374D and show you that the two make a perfect working pair. So that will conclude my review. Once again, this is the WSI Models Volvo R100E Rigid Hall Mining Truck in 1 to 50 scale. This is not a cheap model by any means, but as I always say, WSI, you get what you pay for. This is yet another shining example of what they can do for the Volvo Group, and it never disappoints. So if you would like a premium mining truck model in 150 scale, I cannot recommend this model enough. It will go great with some of your higher-end Diecast Masters or CCM cat mining models as well. I'm Tommy with Diecast Emporium. Thank you all so very much for watching. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, please leave them down in the comment section below. And as always, if you take a look at your screen right now, you will see a couple suggested links for similar videos. So if you enjoyed this video, be sure to check those out as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next review.